morning day 22 of vlogmas i'm christine the gemini stitcher and welcome to my channel yes i'm in my dressing gown with bed head hair today i've had a sneaky lying what time is it now it's 10 to 9 and i'm still not dressed but I wanted to bob on and open the advents before I take the dogs out. We're on a late start today, so I've got some catching up to do. I think it's because I kind of part woke up and thought, you start thinking what you're doing today, and today's cleaning day. So I think it actually made me turn over and go back to sleep. And why not? Who wants to clean our girls? But I am going to get it done today. I've already given the kitchen a good clean this morning after the baking yesterday so that's all spotless now got to tackle the utility room next which is where all the the walking boots and mucky stuff is so it does get a bit yuck in there so i'm going to take the dogs out first and then i'm going to give that a deep clean and then i can start working my way upstairs the ground floor finished so i'm gonna try she says try and focus on cleaning today and get the whole of the house finished and then i've got saturday and sunday to just do what i want well i've got more gravy to make and i've got some crackers that need making but you know no cleaning to do that will be brilliant does anybody else give the house a deep clean right up before Christmas? Why do we do it? I mean, I don't know why I'm doing it this year because there's nobody coming. And at day after Boxing Day, we're off down to Anglesey anyway. It's just nice for it to be all nice and clean though, isn't it? Anyway, shall we do the Advents? I'm a bit excited about Fabric Godmother today because it feels, it, it's like a soft rattle but feels quite heavy. I wonder what it's going to be. We're due a good one, aren't we? I say that every day, but I really do believe we're due a good one today. Oh. Oh. It's like a very small piece of fabric tied up. Oh, it's my favourite, favourite, favourite fabric godmother fabric. Oh. And it says it's 100% silk. Oh, wowzer. Tied with a bow that says fabric godmother. Let's have a look what it is. Is it a scarf? Oh, oh, oh yes, it is. It's a beautiful 100% silk scarf. Oh, wow. I told you we would do a good one today. Is it a scarf? Not sure it's big enough. What would you use that for? Am I being a bit dim here? Is it a hanky? It's too big for a hanky and too small for a scarf, I think. Yeah, it's definitely not. Maybe you could use it as a cravat. I don't know if anybody knows what I should be <coughs> should be using this for. It's beautiful. But I genuinely don't. It's a funny size. Or is it just me? Hmm. They are posting them on Instagram, so I'll find out when they post today's up, won't I? What it actually really is. It's beautiful, though. Beautiful. Yeah, so jury's out on that, because although it's beautiful and it's pure silk, it's not very big. It's like too big as a hanky to me, and too small for a scarf. Very strange. We'll find out, won't we, later on? Because today we're going to be doing the weekly roundup. Now, I don't know how on earth I'm going to price that up. They've got crafty, haven't they? Clever with some of these things, trying to stop you, try and price them up. They must have known I was going to do it. But yeah, once I know what it is, I can 
do a bit of research out there and see what compares. But I don't have to get that priced up for today, do I? Because we're doing up to Thursday and today's Friday. So I'm going to, oh, snap tights I nearly forgot. Day 11. Something very bright in here, can you see? Very bright indeed for it to be showing through the bag. Obviously, it's tights, isn't it? Sunglasses time. Okay. Oh, wow. I actually do like them. How fab are they? Bright pink, very me. Have they got a pattern on them? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a fishnetty type textured pattern. Oh, hang on. And then there's the. Let's try. Can you see that bit there? So there is a pattern on that you probably see better when you've got them on and they are like fishnets, aren't they? Well, they are fishnets when you stretch them out. Need to try those on, but yeah, I'll definitely wear those. Absolutely. So I'm chuffed with those ones. Fab. So what else did I want to tell you this morning? I want to say thank you, actually, to everybody who's been commenting I've got a few, a gang, little gang of vlog, my Vlogmas gang who are commenting every single day, which is absolutely phenomenal, girls, because it's hard enough doing the vlogging without, without watching it and commenting as well. So, yeah, I do appreciate all the support that you're giving me through the vlog, my first at Vlogmas. Let me know what you think. How's it gone? what can I do next year that I've not done this year because I've just winged it really never having done it before I did watch a few other vloggers to see what they did and it's basically just going through your day isn't it but a lot of my days I spent at home so I thought what am I going to say what am I going to do which is why he introduced the deck of the day and I hope you found those useful. Somebody said that they're going to have to go back through all my vlogmases and start watching them again just to see what the deck of the days are and make one. Maybe every... Well, they'd have to make one every two weeks, wouldn't they? Once a fortnight, make one of the decorations from January and then you'd have all 24 decks done by the end of the year. That is organised. I'm not sure I could do that, but yeah, if you're up for it, give it a go. And throughout the year, let me know which one you're making. That would be absolutely brilliant. Speaking of deck of the day, shall we talk about today's deck? It is one that I've made before and it's an image again. So I apologise for that. I haven't got a hardcore product to show you. The deck of the day for today is this really super cute but useful present style table runner and matching placemats it's my christmas decor table day christmas day table decor from last year when i hosted christmas and yeah it went down storm because the presents are like offset on the table runner it meant that i could put things like serving dishes on the table but they weren't all right down the middle some were one side some were nearer the other side and it just made it easier for people to help themselves basically to whatever they wanted that were in the dishes because on Christmas day I don't know about you I don't plate everybody's meal up I tend to I don't bring the turkey to the table and carve it that's just too much stress for me so we put the, tur the meat products on on all the plates um and then all the accompaniments go into serving dishes and they went on the table like i'm doing this aren't I? 
you know what I mean? Off-centred, that's the word. They were off-centred on the table, which actually made it easier for people to reach things. And then the placemats were ones that I just cobbled together myself. I decided what size placemat I wanted. Obviously, they've got wadding inside. Um, yeah, just two pieces sewn together, turned through. But I put the bias binding. I can't remember the word then. I put bias binding on to make them look like an, an, a bow, to make them look like a present. And then sewed them together, turned them out, edge stitched job done and I can't show you them because they're in the bag that I can't find so it's a good job I'm not doing Christmas day this year otherwise well I'd have just had to find them once I they're somewhere but god knows where I've put them somewhere safe haven't I they'll appear in July won't they they'll just suddenly appear I'll go oh there's that bag so yeah that's the deck of the day for today so if you want to run one up for christmas in is it three days time it is doable it's not a huge sew i did it from a sew along so i'll pop the link in the details below for you to have a watch of as well yeah and i better go and get dressed and take the dogs out and, to... and then start me cleaning we'll see how far i get today I, my head it just isn't in it so i just can't see right now in all honesty i cannot see me cleaning all day i didn't do any sewing yesterday i didn't do any the day before did i i definitely need to do some sewing today i think i'm gonna sew until 12 o'clock uh, not so clean until 12 o'clock and then I can just sew this afternoon, get those crackers made up, get those all done, and then they're not pecking at the head. That way, the only thing I've got to do tomorrow is create the gravy, which is time consuming, but you know, not rocket science. And I might even get some pogo knit made this weekend. I'd love to get that made in that bright pink check. But Christmas has got to take priority, hasn't it? You know what it's like, girls. Nearly there. I hope you're coping better than me at the moment. <laughs> oh my God. Just Saturday and Sunday after today. But the problem is, Hubster finishes work today. And it's easy for me to get all these things done while he's not here. Because quite rightly, when he is here, he wants to do things together, which is lovely. But I've got a lot on. And then he pecks my head saying I'm doing too much. Only because he wants to do other stuff, I'm sure. No, there is a little bit of concern there. So then, Christmas Eve Sunday, I've had a chat with Sharon and she's going to be going over to the mill house and prepping all the veg, etc. on Sunday. So it's all done for her on Monday. And she doesn't have to get there as early on Christmas Day, which would be a bit naff, wouldn't it, for anybody? So I'm going to go over with everything that I need to take on Christmas Eve and have a little girly catch up, hopefully. Maybe a cheeky drink. We'll see. Yeah, she's decorating the table and all that. So if she needs some help with that, I can do that. And we do have, we call it the family's Christmas cutlery set. And when I've dug it out and cleaned it, because that's another thing I've got to do, I'll show you. It was my mother-in-law's wedding gift. And this beautiful cutlery set had sat in the box. It's a 12 place setting set with all sorts of stuff in it. Brilliant for Christmas. And it, it's ne it had never been used. Never been used all in its wrappings, all the tissue paper. And I found it quite sad that she'd saved it and never used it. I'm talking like she's not here. Muriel, my mother-in-law, is still alive. And indeed, she'll be there on Christmas Day, so if we can get some pics of her, I will do, because she's a lovely, she's brilliant. 
she's got dementia like a lot of older people get and is struggling she lives in a care home but you know she she's still reasonably mobile so hopefully she's going to be there on christmas day and last year so when she went in the care home and we had to sort everything out in her apartment we found this cutlery set and i, I just found it heartbreaking that it never been used so we have a family agreement that we use it for big occasions family occasions which obviously christmas is so i did christmas last year and we've not had a family occasion since so it's sat in a cupboard in my kitchen so i need to get it out make sure it's clean and get it over to sharon so that she can lay the table i'm also going to be taking all our presents over so i know that they're there the great the dreaded gravy that's been a lot right saga hasn't it the crackers for the table what else am i taking something else something else can't think but i've remembered the christmas cake yeah and i'm doing it on christmas eve the reason being if i forget something it's okay because i can bring it with me the next day but if i turned up trucked up on christmas day and i'd forgot something it's like an hour round trip to go home get what i've forgotten and go back and i don't want to be doing that right i've waffled on enough this morning i've got to get dressed brave the wind 40 to 60 mile an hour winds out there a few trees have come down yesterday yeah so me and the dogs are going to get blown around the fields for a bit and then i'll come back and i'm going to clean till 12 and then i'm going to do some sewing so i've finished off the extra crackers that i had to make yay so they're all put in a bag now ready to go in the boot of the car what else have i been doing got loads of cleaning done i've just got the bedrooms to do and the landing and the sewing room i'm leaving the sewing room till last but it is going to get a really good tidy before christmas so i bobbed on for us to do the weekly rundown or roundup of fabric godmother of fabric godmother advent presents and then we can see if we're on target to even be in profit with them so come on let's give it a go you don't so let's start running through what we got from day 15 to day 21 in the fabric godmother bank calendar the images and prices are going to pop up at the side and then we'll have a grand total pop up at the end let's get cracking so on day 15 we got a merchant and mills tape measure now i wasn't overly impressed with the fact that i got a tape measure however the merchant and mills tape measure is a special tape measure and it would cost you six pounds to buy it interesting day 16 we got two little charms which were very cute and very useful however i priced those I, I did struggle to price the exact same ones up but i scoured the internet had a good look on etsy and i reckon for simple charms on a little clip like that i could get them for three pound each on etsy so i'll put those at six pounds maybe i'm wrong but i had to guess day 17 we got the cute little flower buttons now they are cute but they are very tiny and i'm really not sure what i will use them for so if you've got any ideas what i can use these cute little buttons for let me know i don't make children's clothes and i think that might be the only thing that you'll perhaps use it for maybe anyway they were on the fabric godmother website and they were 85 pence each so they are four pounds 25. on day 18 we got the generates seam gauge which i was chuffed to bits with because i've wanted one of these for a while so that was a good day for me 
and on the Generates website they're £7.50. So that was a good gift. Day 19 we got two more labels and I think I said last time we got labels how mean it was to just put two labels in a box. That's my personal opinion I know but I did think it was they were lovely labels but again a little bit mean so I priced those up at two pounds each that day was four pounds. Day 20 was a good day for me because we got one of the prim thimbles which I've been looking at again for a while and just never got round to buying. Now they vary in price an awful lot but the best price I found was £3.50 which is a good price I know but that's the price I found and that's the price I could buy it for so that's the price we're putting on it. And then day 21 went pink tongue again because they gave us a bobbin with or spool whichever one you want to call it not sure which one it is with silver rickrack on now you can get that anywhere can't you and to put it on in an advent on day 21 when everybody is more or less done their christmas sewing was a bit of a silly number to put it in that you should if you were going to do it put it at the beginning of the advent and at least we could use it so i sort of valued that at four pounds i had to really guess but i wouldn't want to pay more than that for it so how did they do on week three well the total for the week is 35 pounds 25 pence so they are really, I said £5 per day, seven fives thirty five. So this week, unfortunately, they've just broke even. Well, they're ahead by 25 pence. We, we, we are ahead for the whole of the month of the advent, though. And we've still got three more to open. So they've got a chance to really impress us with the last three days, haven't they? And then on day 24, I will give you the grand total and my honest opinion of whether I'm going to buy a Fabric Godmother advent calendar again or would I recommend it to anybody else? So I'm going to leave, love you and leave you now. I think I'm going to tackle the bedding. I'm going to change all the bedding on the beds, get that in the start, getting that in the washing machine. And then I think that's it for today. I've done enough cleaning for one day. There's another day tomorrow to carry on with it. So we'll crack on then. Happy Vlogmas, everybody. Take care.